welcome back everybody so let's talk about what we're doing today I want to first let you know it's a disclaimer 21 and over I'm talking with my stoner friends today they asked me could I do a reading with them so we are talking with my stoner friends we're going to connect two to three of them we're going to talk with them see what they're talking about today what they want to talk about and listen I'm going to just let you know, some of my my uh, stoner friends can be a little bit disturbed. So, please just bear with me. <laughs> and if this is not your cup of tea, cup of tea um, you know, just look out, you know. Because this is <laughs> a stoner party. One's an Australian. One's excited to be here. And one got a southern draw, and he's a stoner with us, okay? I would tell you he got a stuffy nose, too, because he might want to use a little coat, but... And there's some cowboys out here, too. They stoners. Cowboy stoners, okay? <laughs> so, I'm out here hanging out with the cowboy stoners tonight. I don't know, y'all. My camera is acting up right now. All right, there we go. I think it's straight. Alright, so, and I also want to put out, I got a new deck too, some tarot. I don't know the name, it's just tarot. So the one one justice over here, it popped right out. So just a tarot deck, it just say tarot on the box. It's a little box. And it just say tarot on it. Okay, so don't, please don't put in the comment section what cards are those. Because I have no idea, they just say tarot. Alright y'all, next one, for the excited, that is the Eight of Pentacles, so we got some money out here y'all, these are some dark cards y'all, I don't really know, so I did buy a black candle, just in case the stuff get dark, um, Nine of Swords, alright y'all, alright so in the bottom of the deck we got the Four of Wands, these are some crazy looking cards and a lot of messages want to come out because the deck is moving, so this is a hot deck. Right out of the box, it's hot. So that's the card for the Four of Wands. This is our Justice card in this deck. Okay, and it says... Valkyrie. And it says Eight of Pentacles, and this is a zombie. So we out here hanging with some stoner boys. And we got a nine of swords, and that is the basil last. And this is southern draw. These are country boys. Country boys. You know what I mean? Out here popping. All right. All right. Let me see here. First one on the A. One on the there, and one over here. All right. And if I were on death row, what edibles would I want with my last meal? Or if life were a potluck, what would I bring? All right, stoner boys, let's get it. All right. So, so what um what would be the last edible you would want? Like you gotta be really a stoner out here. To be knowing about some edibles, so like, what's some good stoner edibles we got out here? What's some good stoner edibles we got? Um, with that good CBD in it. Mmm, I don't know right now. I can't really like call a real good one, good one, but you know, like some zombie or some like, I don't really think the zombies are that good. I could eat the whole bag and not, you know, what I mean, not get all nothing. But the ones from the suspensory now, um, they got some real good ones. So, it just depends on where you at. <clears throat> Alright, so, hey, what's up? How you doing? Uh, when I, when did I recently act the most unladylike or when is enough enough on the Russian? And then he wants some justice. So, I don't know. He got some girl problems. I don't know. He want to tell us. It's still that like Dear Abby stuff, too. Y'all, so, Dear Abby... With my stoner. So it's like, think like a stoner. This is Dear Abby. He's a stoner. These are stoner boys. They want to come over and hang out with me. So, and they was having some trouble with and would like 
your advice. Alright, so this is what we're doing. Alright, so let me see. Australian boy, what's that? What you want to do? What part of Australia are you from? New Zealand? Sydney? <laughs> I don't know, but they throw my whole deck on the floor, y'all. <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all. The stoners, I'm telling you. They know how to crash a party, I'm telling you. It's about to get crazy, y'all, so get ready. And they throw my whole deck on the floor. So you know, we out here with some boys. We out here with them boys out here today. Alright. Alright, so bear with me, y'all. This energy is piping hot. Piping hot. Piping hot. So some of this stuff I'm not going to take because I don't know what it is. And he don't know what he's saying. He's a stoner, y'all. We out here with the stoners. Think like a stoner. Can you think like a stoner? I don't know. We about to think like one today. There once was a man named Ted. Who had a crusty, who was crusty as day old bread. <laughs> so these so crusty white boys. <laughs> these so crusty white boys. I hope not. Let me see. It says, did marry young. You'd marry young too if your last name was Cat Wasapus. Oh shit. So this is a married guy. He married. Grab that loofah and dump some bubble bath. It's time for bath time. Alright, so I'm not going to take the rest of them. Alright. And he said this is his. He put it over here already. He said, I'm going to head over to the WFW, oh, the VFW for some bingo. You in? So this one's excited. He going to go play some bingo. That's why he got the Eight of Pentacles out here. He going to go win him some pennies tonight. He going, it's Friday night where I'm at. I hope y'all having a great night where y'all at. Fan follow and share the broadcast as well as hit that bell notification. And, um, yeah, this one going over to the BFW and, um, play him a little bingo. And, um, he's going to smoke some doobies with us, though, first before we go. So, you know, he's going to get stoned out with us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Southern Draw. What's grosser than drinking piss? Or if my food could talk, what would I chat up first? I had a play date with a ninja, but I'm sure if he showed up. I'm sure. I'm not sure if he showed up. Alright, so that's where he came over for the play date, but he don't know how long he's gonna stay at our play date, okay? Alright, he said, I like my rappers. He said, I like my rappers of the ice variety. Vanilla, Q, and T. Alright, so that's what he likes. Okay? That's the one with the southern draw. He likes, I like my rappers of the ice variety. Vanilla, Q, and T. I adore par four and I roar for more until my core is sore. So this guy got a little little swag with him. Alright y'all. Alright y'all. This is so cute. Alright so let me see what my little disturbed friends is into. You know they a little wild. <laughs> they a little wild. Hey buddy. What's up number one? How are you? Oh. He's into erotic Fixation. Oh, <laughs> and this is on the justice. Ooh. Hashtag winning. <laughs> oh, let me see. And he's a little disturbed. I told you, my stoner friends is a little disturbed. So you know, twenty one plus, please. Oh, and this is what he like. Mm -hmm. That's what he like in this one. Erotica asphyxiation. Alright, his and him and his wife like to do this type of stuff. And this one, his wife, he like her to do that too. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Alright, and um, yeah, that part. 
All right, let's let's see what he want to tell us then about it. All right, for this one where you like eroticus, um, erotic asphyxiation one oh one. You pull all these out. <laughs> the person sitting across from me really needs to pick up a book, antidepressant pills, or a plastic surgery. All right, so enough is enough. This person. When did I recently act the most unladylike? So this is what he's saying about his woman. So he's saying maybe this is a little bit un. Uh, he says he sits across from him and to put, to pick up a book or antidepressant pills or ant or um, plastic surgery. If I was a bully, I would give titty twisters to chubby girls, stuff nerds. Heads into toilets, cry myself to sleep because my dad beats me. I would poison my siblings if they were more popular than me. They beat me in a thumb rut in a thumb war. They were disabled. <laughs> As a corrupt police officer, I would use my authorities to start a meth lab to fondle breasts or to get free donuts so so far this way this, this marriage don't seem too it seemed like so far so it seemed like a sex relationship and it's a need depressions and plastic surgery and then if he was a bully he would give perfect so she might be on the chubby side give titty twisters and um he taught me a lot if he was a nerd, so she got like, she probably like talk a lot of airhead stuff, like toilet trash, like head airhead. So toilet nerd head toilet. So talk, he's talking about stuff nerd. So like, you know what I mean? Like airhead shit. Guys that don't want to listen to that, it's like airhead. I'm talking to stoners. You remember? <laughs> I'm talking to really stoners. You know? I would poison my siblings if they were more popular than me. They beat me in a in a thumb war. So this mean like sex, thumb, wrestling, war, whatever, fucking. <laughs> um, as a corrupt police officer, I will use my authority. So he wants her to he wants to take authority over her. He wants to dominate over her. Um, and start, you know, being toxic. Drugs. Drugs meth is like something that you get toxic to or are you addicted to it? Um, fondling, sex, making foreplay, breasts, you know, sex, F to free free donuts, you know, fucking in the ass, free fucking, I ain't got paid for it. <laughs> That's how stoners think, you know what I mean? This is how stoners think. Now, I ain't telling you you think like this, but this is how stoners think. If my sex life was a book, it would be called the Bible, Sex for Dummies. Fifty Shades of AIDS. More like Fifty Shades of AIDS. A cum guzzling whore ba bag just broke up my family by giving my dad herpes. For payback, I will tie her up and cut her dad's off, dad's hands off, and use it to finger bang her. Spread honey on her coochie and let a grizzly bear mangle it. <laughs> Use her as a human toilet. So what that mean is, he want to do raunchy stuff, the glory hole stuff, you know, like the Czechs do, you know. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm talking to a uh, Australian dude, you know. They go down to the glory hole and they have a great time. Okay, like I said, this is 21 plus. Expressive language is used in this broadcast. Okay, I want to tell you that right off the bat. My friends are very disturbed here. Okay? They're very, very disturbed. And I'll put a warning on the side of this. Um, this is disturbed friends. These are my disturbed friends. Very disturbed. They're very disturbed. Okay? I would blank to avoid getting the flu. Trust the Scientology. Blow a horse to com completion. Or live in Korea, North Korea, where it's at. Mm. So that man said, I would trust in Scientology. 
So that so, so he want to trust in man. Um, blow a horse to completion. I told you he's into. We got the pictures here. I told you I'm talking to disturbed people. See, they into um erotic fixation. They are into some kind of dressed up type of thing. What she's into some kind of thing like that, and dressed up like this. Hold on, y'all. I got somebody at the door. Sorry, y'all. 